Hey everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Closing Report for February 4th, 2016. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss, with analysis for the current session. Uh, here we see a daily time frame of the ES, and uh, what we saw here was price basically reject off of the previous session's lows here and drop down into uh, 1860s. Price then rallied back into the 1921 level and was offered early in the session, and then later on, uh, price basically formed a doji day, just kind of closing in a well within balance kind of indecision point right there. I think what's important here is is one key thing that I mentioned in the trading room, which is um, this is the HVN right here, 1921s. Price attempted to hold above that zone and failed. Went auction this this day through that level and went down here. And when it came back, the first test was also offered. I mentioned before that uh, prices are likely to remain in, an, in a tight coil here until we see expansion. But this is an early tell right here that, that things are kind of pointing downward, at least short term, until price can reclaim uh, uh, the, the levels above the 1921. So if the market can get back above 1921, we could see a further squeeze. But right now, this is kind of a little bit of action here that, uh, that foreshadows a little bit of weakness ahead. And 19... Uh, 1846 is the CLVN in the zone. This is a very, very solid area that could offer significant support. But after all of this buying here, uh, the stops could already be lined up ahead of that level, and we could just see a big dump through that zone if uh, if that if that level gets tested. So it is an LVN. I'd be very, very cautious here if you're going to defend it now all, with all of this churn here, because I fear here that once we get to the edges of this range, either above. 1940 or below 1845, we're going to see significant expansion because we've seen a lot of built up energy here and we continue to do so. So look for further development within this range. Eventually, once we get expansion outside of the range, we could be looking at a big return uh, to 2071s or failure to get above that zone opens up a return to 1811 with the potential to slide even further. So we're going to continue to watch this development as it uh, continues to play out. Here's the ES in an intraday time frame. Again, very clear how price is just coiling up right now. Price is just coiling up, just trading in this range. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, very, very narrow value area right here. Uh, not really, um, you know, it hasn't really pieced together this part here, but this is a kind of a chunky part of the profile here. Uh, and overall, I, I think still right here, this is the part where it's really building some energy, and I think we're going to see some significant expansion ahead. So watching 1921 will be very, very important because that area has been offered as it was throughout the session. All right, taking a look at crude oil. Here's a, a look at crude oil. This is very similar to the ES that I just mentioned. Here's price rallying from this low, 2756 to 3343. Uh, Price pushed beyond that zone on that short squeeze day and then had a digestion day the day that followed, attempting to hold above the midpoint of that range. Eventually, price went offered through the low of that session and that sparked a, a drop. Now we've seen the reversal here, and again, as soon as that area is tested, it's defended by bears immediately. And that's an area that also has the monthly pivot range. So throughout this downtrending market, we've seen the pivot range be a huge indication of what's going on in crude. Here's a very narrow range and it leads to more weakness. We see a push toward the bottom of the range, it leads to weakness. Another push toward the bottom of the range, weakness. Now this narrow range is kind of ahead of this very coiled up pattern here which could forecast another major expansion phase ahead. Uh, and so I think that crude oil here is, is definitely building the energy as well as, as is the NQ. They're all kind of building that energy that's going to be required for the next phase of expansion. There's 3525, that's the upper end here. Significant LVN here right now. Bears want to fade that zone for a rotation lower. 29 to 2925, 2925 being a zone here that bulls want to defend and rotate higher. Once you get outside of that zone, there's going to be significant expansion and it could play out uh, very similarly to how this move occurred here. And we already know that's been about a 12 handle range right there. So that's what could be coming once we unwind out of this range. Uh, right now, the fact that the, uh, crude oil was basically unable to hold above the midpoint of the range and then we immediately drop, come back and retest and it's offered. Right now, that tells me that very similar to the ES, 
testing off the, the, the 21s there, that kind of implies that we could be looking at a push downward. And while this 29 LVN has been very solid here, I think it's only a matter of time before it may get chipped away and we see further expansion. Now, if you, take, if you think about this, if we see expansion to the downside and we're looking at this key range here, the downside expansion target, 100% expansion is going to be 1582. Think about that one for a moment, 1582. We know how impressive this key range analysis has been. It's nailed it. We've been right on the money because of it before. If price breaks down through this 2756 20, uh, and, and there's acceptance below the zone, that could imply a move way down here. I don't know if it happens. We'll see. It's hard to fathom prices at 15 for crude, but uh, that's what's ahead here if this thing doesn't hold the zone. So I would think that bulls really want to defend. So even if prices push down into the 25% zone, I would watch these two targets here because a, a level here may be enough to see if the, the bulls can squeeze and defend and perhaps rally. But this is going to get serious here if prices get below 27.56 and hold. So just kind of a, a, a precursor, early precursor to what foot could come ahead. Now let's take a look at the intraday time frame just quickly here. Uh, basically, this one rallied up into the 25% day expansion target. Uh, tried to hold above the uh, the 33s here. That overnight key range tried to hold above that zone, and then uh, in the pivot in the pivot boss premium trading room today, we we caught a great slide down off of off of this uh, this move right here. So basically, we were looking at this pattern and how it had been holding and building out. Failure to hold above 32.90 was going to lead to a move back to value, uh, and we we nailed those two those two targets that we called out. So a solid solid move down off that zone. We have since updated uh, value to be 31.80 in the charts from 32.04. So that's an important note right there. And right now that's kind of the level to watch 31.80 as we head into the upcoming session. I think um, as long as price remains above 31s right now, short term bullish. Below 31s changes the tide big time and starts putting pressure on the lower uh, key targets down here, namely 29.25. Okay, let's take a look at gold. This one has been super significant. We've called this one all the way. Very, very solid move. Here's the key range. Uh, we saw the expansion. We saw the pullback. Uh, we saw the defense in the rally here. And we were calling for a move into 1169.30 based off of this expansion. And we were also calling for a move into uh, the, the primary monthly bull target, 64.80. So we were looking for a move into this zone right here based off of these, these events. That was the monthly target, right? Keep in mind, we were only shooting to these two targets for the week, and we reached those two targets uh, basically in the last couple of days and then some. This has been a major, major move up. And again, we've been right on top of it. But let me bring up something here in Thinkorswim. Uh, if we look at this chart here and bring up uh, gold, what you'll see right here is that prices right now are seeing major, major expansion compared to ADR. So this right here shows that we have uh, a five-day range that is uh, much greater than, than average and far greater than the expansion. And when you look at the profile and you look at this right here, every time you see a move like that, like this last time we saw it was here early in January, and you see this big blue come up, that usually means that you're going to have a wave that comes against that, that move uh, later on as the price range shrinks and prices kind of rotate back down and auction back within that range. So right now, while we have this big thrust here, we could be at the end of this push higher ahead of the next kind of pullback and rotation lower. Just to be alerted because that's what this usually means. I mean here you see a nice push up and then you see it auction back down. Uh, if, I, if I go back in the charts a little bit farther back here you'll see the same. A big push up and on this bar right here you see the auction back down. Uh, this right here you can see a big push up and then another little bit and then it pulls back. You got all of this right here but that's just a continuation. I mean that's a, an anomaly there where major major selling pressures being seen. But basically speaking, every time you see a big move like this and the blue up here, uh, you're either going to go sideways or you're going to get a reaction against that initial move. So right now, uh, I'm still bullish. I still believe we're headed to 1169s. But I think short term here, we may top out around 1160 and that could lead to a pullback toward 1130. 
that may offer one last buying opportunity for another shot into 1169s. So just something to think about there. All right, let's take a look at um, the NQ now. Looking at the NQ here, you can see basically prices building out uh, within the range after the impulse swing moved down. Uh, we have still yet to, to reach the midpoint of this range, so we don't have a key range locked on it. Uh, but we have the, the edges of the range clearly marked, and we're watching you know this compression take place right now. Obviously, uh, the edges of the range here, 4,300 been offered. And on the bottom end, we've been talking about 4072 being an important area for bulls to defend after this major tail event. Since that point, we've seen a lot of defense in this area. But that doesn't mean they're going to win. It just that's the range right now. And this range will lead to expansion. Whether it's back up or down remains to be seen. I say, you know, I, we... My, my stance ever since we hit this low was that as long as we hold above 4072, we have a good shot to rotate higher. We reached to the, the targets in the ES. We have yet to do so in the NQ. But if price continues to hold 4072s, there could be a shot at gunning for the next HVN up, which is 4406. And then from there, we could see how much higher we could go. But for right now, uh, look for further development within this range until expansion occurs. On an intraday basis, heading into overnight trading, um, for the most part, this thing is coiling up, similar to the ES. If we go a little higher in time frame here, you can also see how price has kind of been bisected. Uh, right now, 4200 to 4211 has been heavily offered, and down here, 4091 to 4100 has been heavily bid. So those are the two zones right now to offer and bid. Outside that range leads to expansion. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the rest of the week. Good luck and trade well.